If you want to convert a fraction to a percentage, there is more than one way to do that. But this part over whole equals percent over 100. It's something that works in a lot of different settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this method right now. 33 out of 20, if you think about having a homework assignment, you got 33 out of 20. You got more than 100%. So a reasonable answer is going to be over 100%. So I would start with making a fraction equal to a fraction. And one of those fractions, 33 over 20, is provided. And you always set that equal to percent over 100. We don't know the percentage, so that's going to be a variable. And then it's over 100. As soon as you have one fraction equal to one fraction, you just need to cross multiply, then divide. Those words mean that you want to multiply the numbers that are diagonal to each other. So 33 times 100. And then divide by the number that is diagonal to the unknown. So if you grabbed your calculator and did 33 times 100, and then you took that answer and divided it by 20, you're going to see that that is 165. We found a percentage, so it's 165%. Hopefully that seems like a reasonable answer to you, because again, if you had 33 out of 20, you got more than 100%. So this is just one more example of the same thing. I would immediately make a fraction equal to a fraction. The fraction is given, so 85 over 50, and then set that equal to percent over 100. I do not know the percent, so I'm gonna just call that P over 100. Now I'm ready to cross multiply, then divide. So the numbers that I'm gonna multiply are the ones that are diagonal, so 85 and 100, and then divide by the number across diagonal to the unknown, so divide by 50. So if you grab your calculator and take 85 multiplied by 100, and then you divide by 50, you're gonna end up getting 170. This is a percentage so make sure that you put your percent sign. So we have 170%. Um, again, hopefully that makes, like that's a reasonable answer to you because if you had 85 out of 50, you have more than 